Okay, well let's do some uh, problems from problem set 8.2 on page 585. If you look at uh, the problem set, numbers 1 through 48 are all of the, the uh, conversions that we have been doing. So let's just uh, grab a few from each page and uh, practice on some of them. Uh, for instance, if we look at something along the line of uh, number 6, we've got 92 acres, and we're changing acres to square feet. So again, we write our 92 acres. There's no exponent on that, so we only have one time sign. We put acres on the bottom, and we see if we can find out how many feet and, or how feet and acres relate to each other, if they even do. And as you remember, on page 580, middle section says one acre is 43,560 square feet to one acre. So we cancel our acres, multiply 92 times 43,560. And we end up with uh, our square feet, which is in this one is 4,007,520 square feet. Okay, so that's dealing with uh, square feet. And to do some of the ones prior to that, let's look at number four. We have 720 square inches. And we're trying to change that to square feet, or feet squared. So let's just go ahead and do that. Inches squared, because there's a two up there, times line, times line. And we put inches in both bottoms, the denominator positions. And we're changing to feet. So what do we know about inches and feet? Well, we know there's 12 inches in one foot, and we write that twice. Our inches cancel here. Two of those inches cancel with both of these. Put that over one to remember to multiply the 720 times the numerators, one and one. And then we multiply 12 times 12, which is 144. We divide that out. And when we divide it out, we get five square feet. And that's what our answer is for 720 square inches to square feet. All right, let's keep going. Uh, next page, 586. If we're doing something like uh, number 30, we're transferring or translating 12 gallons to quarts. And uh, all we need to do is go back to page number 582, middle of the page, middle column there. And we do 12 gallons. Do we know anything about, so one times one line, because gallons has no exponent. Do we know anything about gallons in quarts? Yes, oops, I forgot my gallons here. We know that there are four quarts to one gallon. Put that over one. Cancel our gallons. 12 times 4 is uh, 48 and that ends up being our ending there. 48 quarts. That's all there is to that. If we were doing something like um, 34, 5.9 quarts and we're trying to change that to fluid ounces. We go back to that page again. Quartz to fluid ounces. I don't see anything there with quartz to fluid ounces, but I do see that pints go to fluid ounces. And right below that, it says quartz to pints. So I'm going to go from quartz to pints, and then I can go up to the pints and go to the fluid ounces. So I'm going to do 5.9 quartz times line quartz on the bottom. And since I do know something about pints and quartz, I'll put that on here. My quartz cancel. Take another time sign because I'm not well, I'm not at fluid ounces, so I gotta keep putting time signs and lines until I get to it. Pints goes on the bottom. 
because it's up here. And what do I know about a pint? It equals 16 fluid ounces. And that is what I'm looking for right here. So I know to stop. So I cancel. And then I just put that over 1, multiply my numerators, 5.9 times 2 times 16. And that will be over 1 times 1 times 1. So in this case, we have 188. 0.8 fluid ounces. All right. If you look at uh, some of the story problems to the right there on page number 587, not much different than just what we did here on page 586. The only difference is they give you a lot of words between numbers. So, for instance, 58. Gas tank holds 18 gallons. What is the volume of the tank in quarts? So we're changing 18 gallons to quarts. So we do the 18 gallons times line gallons here on the bottom. Do we know anything about gallons and quarts? Yes, we know that there are four quarts and one gallon. Those cancel. That goes over one. That's what we're looking for. So we stop there. So we do 18 times four. And when we take 18 times 4, we end up getting 72 quarts because that's what we le had left as far as the unit of measure that we did not cross out. Okay. Let's keep moving along here. Um, one's like 63 or 61 to 64. Need a calculator. You got the. 64 of the Badlands National Park in South Dakota was established in 1929. Not really a concern of ours. What we're concerned with is the next sentence. It covers 243,302 acres. What is the area in square miles? All right, so in order to do that, you can look back on page 580, middle of the page, and it gives me at the bottom, in the middle column of the last one, 640 acres equals one square mile. So let's take our bad lands, our 243,302 acres. And we're changing that to uh, square miles. Well, according to our table on page 550, line, and the time sign, acres goes on the bottom. And according to this, it says there are 640 acres to one square mile. So that's what we're looking for. It isn't canceled here. So we're going to multiply 243,302 times one which is itself, divide that by 640, and we get for an answer 380.16 square miles. Okay, so some basic problems there in section 8.2 for you to get started at, and we'll get started on 8.3 next time.